Come experience Sketch to Screen at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art. Sketch to Screen, the Art of Hollywood Costume Design, is an exhibition that is originated here at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art. It was co-curated by myself and my colleague here, Jennifer Kloss. And basically this exhibition uh, started in 2007, and we were looking for a special exhibition that would integrate our active museum film program, which has been going approximately 15 years. And we began to do research into what Hollywood costumes have actually survived, and where were they? Were they in private collections, institutions, etc.? And so we began to contact uh, these individuals and institutions and talk to them about their collections and the possibility of borrowing the objects for this special exhibition. The first thing you're going to see when you enter the exhibit is actually a screen. When looking at the screen, you are going to see uh, trailers or previews to the films included in the exhibition and or key scenes where these costumes have been displayed. It is a reminder that the ultimate goal when a costume designer is creating costumes is creating garments for the screen. And so hence the title, Sketch to Screen, the screen is really the end product of these costumes. The exhibition is divided up into 10 thematic sections that basically cover different film and fashion genres, beginning with costuming silent screen stars. And this really tells the story of, of what was going on in the silent era of motion pictures when film studios really did not have costume designers at this point and many of the stars actually dressed themselves and designed their own costumes. So we'll see great examples of style icons like Gloria Swanson, Mary Pickford, and Rudolph Valentino. And who can forget Charlie Chaplin who is so iconic in American culture with his trademark bowler hat and floppy tramp shoes which will also be on display. The next section you are going to see is a section devoted to period costumes, titled Fit for a Queen. Two very large gowns from films Queen Christina and Marie Antoinette, designed by the famous designer Gilbert Adrian. He designed over 2,500 costumes for Marie Antoinette, a very massive project and spent a great deal of money and time to create these very detailed gowns. These gowns happen to be the largest in our exhibition, one being nearly seven feet wide and the other gown weighing 60 pounds in total. We have a section devoted to what is known as the femme fatale, or more commonly in the United States called the scream vamp. And this is a sort of a stock character from the earliest days of cinema. And we have several examples, including the oldest one in the exhibition from 1920, a film called Sex, which starred Louise Glom as a New York cabaret singer who comes out at the beginning of the film wearing this spider-inspired garment with this amazing beaded spiderweb cape. And she, in the film, is luring married men into a, a disastrous relationship. And so that is really the prototypical kind of femme fatale. But we have more contemporary versions like Sharon Stone in Basic Instinct and a very interesting pair of uh, dresses that Jamie Lee Curtis wore in True Lies in which people might remember her literally ripping her dress apart to make it sexier for this particular scene. In our next section we devote to really one of the greatest motion picture achievements of the 20th century which is Gone with the Wind and who can forget Scarlett O'Hara's terrific gowns that she wears throughout that film. We'll have three on display and we also have a number of supporting uh, documents and costume design sketches that Walter Plunkett created. It was an enormous undertaking, hundreds of design sketches for the many, many main characters, 50 main characters, as well as all of the extras in the Civil War epic. We'll also have screen tests that people can view to see how the garments were tested prior to the actual filming of that Technicolor motion picture. In the next section, you will see one of the earliest truly American film genres, the Western. Early film stars such as Tom Mix and William S. Hart set a standard for cowboy style. It continued with epic films starring John Wayne and more recent films like Quigley Down Under and Three Amigos, truly seeing the range of what cowboys wear in Western films. We have a section devoted to comic books and superheroes, and Superman is the star of this section. Christopher Reeve wore this garment in four different films in his career. We also have characters like Dick Tracy, who was created by an Oklahoman cartoonist 
in the pages of a, a newspaper comic strip. And Dick Tracy, we feature his yellow fedora and trademark trench coat. In the next part of the exhibit, we deviate from your typical movie genres and we move into what really uh, most people recognize as men's and women's clothing. And so we have a section devoted to women's fashion and it really is probably a dream come true to most women to be able to see themselves on the screen in either a beautiful suit uh, worn by Reese Witherspoon in Legally Blonde 2 or to see themselves as Deborah Carr in An Affair to Remember. So you can see beautiful evening gowns as well as day suits. And we also include men in this section. We show men and how they've been portrayed often in professions. So we have, for example, an astronaut, a lawyer, a football player. We also feature a number of men's suits, which has been a staple of menswear for years and years, including suits that were worn by Charlton Heston in A Touch of Evil, or very recently, Johnny Depp's gangster ensemble from Public Enemies. In another section of the exhibition, you will see the exciting costumes from movie musicals. We have beautiful sketches from Top Hat, and also Fred Astaire's tap shoes, which really become the iconic part of the film when he's dancing. You can also see famous movie musicals from the 1960s, such as Sweet Charity, Hello Dolly, and Sound of Music. And it's hard not to reference certain more recent films, such as Mamma Mia, a true favorite amongst audiences across America. In this final section of the exhibition, entitled, And the Winner Is, we feature a number of Oscar-winning costume designs from almost a half a century of, of motion pictures. Well, I think you'll see beautiful gowns and you'll see some of the historic men's wear from Ben-Hur and Gladiator. Uh, one of the more interesting gowns is a gown from the 1952 version of Moulin Rouge, designed by fashion designer Elsa Scaparelli. You'll also see Deborah Scott's dresses from Titanic, and what are some of your favorites, Brian? Well, the gladiator costume is quite impressive, but we also have this wonderful gown from the musical Camelot, which is quite extraordinary. We hope visitors take away many different things from seeing Sketch to Screen. First off, learning what is costume design and what does a costume designer do. It's a very creative process for them to go through with many different steps, including reading the script, sketching, and actually going through wardrobe test fittings. Another point we'd like people to take away from the exhibition is the collaborative nature of the costume designer's art. They work very closely with the film's director, cinematographer, set designer, as well as hair and makeup to really shape the overall look, visual look of a film. We invite you to the Oklahoma City Museum of Art to celebrate the art of Hollywood costume design from sketch to screen. Call 236-3100 to be a part of Hollywood history. Sketch to screen at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art.